hello hello my sweet peaches and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is sophie and today we're going to be touring this super gorgeous uh coastal town i think you can already tell from the little bit we can see in the background that it is truly stunning um this island is called cornflower and it was made by lauren aka narian crossing over on instagram really hope i said your username right um and it is a coastal farm themed town i'm very excited to see this all right, so we've got Lauren, and then for villagers, we have Felicity, Ione, Pippi, Weber, Celia, Bon Bon, Daisy, Lolly, Dobie, and Whitney. Some really cute villagers. Um, also, wow, I launched straight into villagers and didn't even focus on the map. This is a super cool map. This is like very different. Like, it looks really, really open, and I'm really excited. Um, because hopefully that means I won't get lost. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, to look around. Yeah, and, and hopefully it'll be good inspiration too. I know a lot of people hate terraforming, so more open maps um, sometimes are nice. And holy guacamole, I'm already shook. I'm already shook. We just got here and I'm already, I am, I am. Like, look at this, look at this view. Oh, here, I'm gonna snap a photo. This might be, this might be the thumbnail. Um, this is like genuinely stunning. Um, like I did point out, it's very open, like minimal terraforming. Um, and yet it's so full, like it doesn't feel like a big empty island. This is so stinking cute. I love, I love how like overgrown and rustic everything feels. And like the combo of blue and green is so nice, especially like the very soft blues. I feel like there aren't many soft blue items in this game. So I'm sure this was probably a bit of a struggle to do. So kudos to Lauren, this is amazing. I didn't know you could change the fabric on these little, these little chairs. Look at how cute this is. We're just like relaxing in our little, let me see if I can tilt the, oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm, I'm freaking out. This is stunning. I love just these little, I'm very bad at doing buildings. So I always love to see how people do them. This is really cool. Like all of the different storefronts kind of staggered together, different colors. I love like the curtains, um, like right behind where my little character is sitting. It looks like, it just looks like a real house. And you're just, you're just sitting in your front yard right next to this big uh, fishing canal. I love it. Also, I forgot there were presents right in front of resident services. Um, I obviously didn't open them yet. I'm gonna go ahead and open those now and see what we've got. All right, so I opened them all up. We've got some super cute clothing options. Oh, perfect. Love it. And a couple of cute little handheld items that we can use. Gonna go for the basket. In addition to a vaulting pole and a ladder. So definitely make sure you get those. And this is so stinking cute. Um, Lauren did note that the beaches are empty uh, and her house is empty, so I'm not gonna bother going down that way. Um, I did see that Abel Sisters is over here though when I was looking at that building. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. It's like an actual like clothing store. I mean, I know that Abel Sisters is a clothing store, but it's like another clothing store outside i always struggle with what to put by the able sisters i feel like i kind of default to just like sewing machines i think that's what most people do why did i never think to make it an actual clothing store like that's literally what the able sisters is it just looks so stinking gorgeous I, and i love the string lights like in front of this counter it's just so nice it's so good is so stinking pretty and the way I love just like the little kind of dividers in the path um, it feels realistic like you know in a real city they have like uh, those little like divider like the meridian area whatever you call it in the middle of the road and they'll have like plants it just looks so nice and I love all the statues it's like I feel like I only see a lot of statues in like elegant core islands and yet it's fitting this very rustic coastal vibe so perfectly it, it's so weird it's like rustic and, and and towny but also so elegant and beautiful it's i feel like it's got that you know kind of european charm in a way um how towns feel very old and extravagant yet um just so like warm and, and yeah rustic i've said the word rustic a lot today already um this is so cute who lives here oh we've got ione 
Okay, so yeah, we've got some little villager houses uh, kind of tucked along this this like huge canal area that's running through the whole front of the island is so stunning. I love this. Like on this side, we've just got a bunch of streets. <gasps> More fake buildings. Okay, that door. Like literally, what the hell? What is this? This is so much. This is so good. It's literally just items, but like this is a building. Like looking at this, my brain is like, no, this is a building. How did you build this out of items? This is insane. Oh my gosh, and I love this little sign here. Like stuff's for sale. Oh my gosh, it's a gas station, wait. That's like the gas prices and they're at the pump. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Such a sweet, like realistic little touch. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh. Oh, and this is a really creative way. I think this is their river outlet. I can't get down. I am. I'm, <laughs> I took a photo of the map uh, and I'm looking at it on my phone so I can tell this is the river outlet. Um, this is such a creative way to kind of block off your outlet if you don't want to like continue along with it. Like they used fake water instead of like actually terraforming real water just because the terraformed water has so many limitations with, you know, you can't put items on top of it. It gets really finicky with, uh, you know, trees being around it. This is so nice. I, you know, I am probably definitely going to miss some stuff. So I do recommend that you visit this island yourself. Um, I will have like the dream address listed below and um, all of Lauren's socials and all that. So I definitely recommend, you know, go check all this out on your own see what this island is about yourself because I am yeah very uh I get lost easily I'm very forgetful so I probably won't see every little thing oh my goodness this is the cutest little seaside cafe oh my gosh and they have a fishing spot and you can actually get into the seat I thought it was gonna be too close to the water that's so fun oh no I'm stuck oh no I'm stuck Oh, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, I do recommend visiting on your own. Um, I love seeing like island tours um, like on YouTube like this. I, I watch island tours all the time myself um, in addition to making them. But truly like visiting islands yourself and seeing them, um, you know, firsthand and getting to control how fast you're moving, where you're going, it really does make a difference. Um, I highly, highly recommend you visit and just explore every little area. Look at all the fishies. Oh my God, the puffer fish is going upside down. Oh no, I'm sorry, friend. Oh no, I think I startled them with the light. <laughs> and I love, yeah, just this little fish market. All the colors just feel so soft. I love it. I, I There's so many like over the top saturated uh, color items in this game. Um, which you would know if you've ever seen like a Kid Gore Island, but this is so nice. They found like all of the nice soft colors that you can use in this game. And it looks so good. I love this too. The, um, the Moroccan sofa is truly like one of my favorite items from the update. It fits so many themes. Like this blue and white customization looks so good for a really coastally um, island like this. And it matches this sign. I love it. I just love this color scheme. Blue is not normally like my go-to color. Um, I will say I'm definitely more of a pink girl, but um, gosh, this makes me want to do a whole blue island. Like I literally, I literally want to redo my island to be more, more blue like this. Um, I am going vaguely coastally vibe for my, my second island, but um, it's more green. Uh, green and pink but now I'm like dang I want to add blue and again all these flawless just like little shops and buildings I'm in awe all this felicity the lucky cat who gets to gets to live here and I just want to make sure we've seen all along this way before I go up to the next level <gasps> oh and that's so clever they put one of the little greenhouse boxes behind the archway. So it looks kind of like, I don't know, it just looks a little bit fancier. Like your, um, it's like a nice like wall display, like built-in shelving kind of. Oh, I love it. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, and yeah, this is where I think we were before. Because yeah, that's the entrance. Okay, and we definitely did go, I think, all the way to the right. And then I think back up this way was like all of the shops and I, Ione's house. Oh my gosh, hi, Pippi. You're so cute. I didn't comment on it before, but I'm obsessed with... I'm obsessed with the way that the ranch chairs look in this customization with these bistro tables. It's perfect. I've always been sad there's not really, there's not really like a bistro chair unless if, unless if there is and I just forgot. But um, I feel like I can never find a perfect chair to go with the bistro table, but the ranch chair, that is like pretty spot on. Okay, and then here we are back at resident services. I love this view. So nice, we're definitely getting that farm energy with all those windmills. Also, I love that flag. And I think we're gonna go up to the second level now and see what is up here. Oh my gosh, the little code on the van for Nook's Cranny. That's so precious. And it's hidden behind these walls. And I didn't realize this island doesn't fall. I thought it looked like a spring, uh, spring colored grass, but this is probably, oh, I don't even know, September maybe? definitely still very green okay so that that answers that question if anybody was curious what season this is set in it's like probably an early fall that is so stinking cute I also love these little carts I never use these items and it looks so perfect okay and we have just this little this is so creative when you just have that little awkward space uh, here just make it a little so uh, spot to sit down I never know what to do with little skinny areas like this. I usually just fill in with like trees and bushes and pretend it doesn't exist. Um, so it's nice to see it like actually decorated and like useful. Okay, and as if this island wasn't perfect enough, we're now getting a land bridge moment. Okay, let me see if I can do, there's like that trick people have been using um, to get a more wide angle shot. I think that worked. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. Oh my gosh this is so pretty look at the land bridge i love all the picnics um i i don't know about you all but i'm kind of crazy about picnics um i always whenever i have like an open spot i'm just like let me build a picnic so i love seeing people who are as crazy for picnic spots as me and miss ione is here with us hello hello and whose house is this? It's so pretty with all the black tulips. Weber, this is so cute. You know, I, I'm i not usually a fan of the black flowers, but like they look so nice here. They're, they actually look like cute. Like I wanna find a way to go use black flowers on my island now. And I love that our duck boy Weber has his own little uh, elaborate terraformed yard, lots of water nearby. I know I've taken like six photos of this area, but it, it deserves it. All right, and before we go, oh, do I wanna go down yet? I don't know. I kind of wanted to go, you know, I'm gonna go back. I kind of wanted to go all the way across like, here, I'll show on the map again. There's like this little strip all the way through the middle of the island. I think we're gonna go walk through this whole area and then go down back by the museum and loop our way back up to here um because i think that would be a really cute area to also end the tour um right by that gorgeous gorgeous land bridge that i am obsessed with so we'll go back this way then okay and it's, i love this like yeah this area like it's so nice to split everything in half like up here it feels very coastal and from the little bits that i'm i'm sneakily looking at down there it looks a lot more rustic farmy <gasps> Okay, let me get, let me get a, a view of this. Let's get a view of this. Oh my goodness. How is this real? This is stunning. I'm gonna have like 75 thumbnail options. I'm not gonna know what to do because literally every photo I take is like worthy of being on the front of a video. This is so pretty. I love, love, love. Having to, like bri I love seeing bridges like this, like where they're on different levels, but it's fun that like that one is angled, like a diagonal bridge, and this one is just like straight left and right. 
um, it just adds a little bit more like interest. Um, it's a little bit more fun to look at. I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, Pippi again. She is stalking us. And yeah, it seems like this whole area is just like a big, oh my God. I need to like not, I need to not pan my camera up because I keep seeing things below that I'm like, oh my God. I just want to sprint down there. I'm so excited. Okay. And we kind of skipped over this area. So let's make sure we do see. <gasps> okay. Again with the amazing like bridges. Okay. You know how at the beginning of the tour I said that the, the terraforming is really simple. Um, I scratched that. The terraforming is stunning. It's definitely very, I would say maybe minimal. Like in some areas it's flat and open, but in the areas where there is terraforming, it's stunning. Like, look at this. All these bridges around like a sunken in waterfall. Our boy David just chilling in the middle. I love it. What a stunning entrance to the museum. The entrance it deserves. All right, and now let's make our way down to the back. I have to say, I'm, I think that this is probably gonna be my favorite part of the island because you know I love super natural overgrown areas. And holy cow. I'm already obsessed. What did I say about picnic spots? This is just perfect. It's perfect. I love it. I also love this path code. I don't know that I've ever seen it before. It's it's so nice. Like it feels summery and yet, yeah, it, it got that yellow tone to it that kind of suits the, I guess, early autumn vibes. <gasps> Shut up. This is too much. I'm just, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm never leaving this island. I'm just gonna make my character stand here forever. They're not allowed to leave. <laughs> this is so good. I love these codes. I feel like I can never get simple panel buildings to look good. Like they always look so dumb, but this is a like, it looks like a real building. Also, I love the wheat field, like, um, with these kind of wooden partitions or I think that's what they're called. I think it's a wooden partition. I forget the name, but um, I love using that as like, it's almost like a fence uh, for this little area. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I don't know which way to go. I wanna go everywhere. <gasps> okay, we've got a bunch of carrots. I'm guessing some bun buns live back here. I'm gonna check. I wanna see if my tuition, tuition is right. My intuition. <laughs> okay, Peppy and Bon Bon. Peppy, gosh, why can I suddenly not speak? Pippi and Bon Bon. Jesus, okay. <laughs> yeah, I love all of the carrots and they have all the carrot uh, themed uh, baked goods. I did the exact same thing with Sasha's yard. I just had to give him like every like piece of carrot cake, carrot scone, just anything with carrots. He had to have it. This is what these bunnies deserve only the finest oh and here we've got our little campsite oh what i love i've actually seen this i feel like i don't know if this is just like coincidental but i've seen like an island or two lately that has their campsite in the back next to the secret beach i'm loving this i'm like i'm gonna steal this idea for like all my islands because i I am not an outdoorsy person. I'm not a camping person. So I'm always so uninspired with the campsite. So having it on this cozy little beach is so nice. Oh my gosh, you wanna play soccer with me? Are you even real? I don't know, is anything real? We're playing soccer. That butterfly, how did that butterfly just fly through this? I don't even know. This is just so nice. This is so nice. I, I love seeing, I like seeing like, I guess like non-traditional campsites. Like I've also uh, seen some people setting it up as though it's like the stage for a play or a movie theater. And I love that because why would you wanna go sleep in a tent when you could go watch a movie or relax on the beach? So I love seeing these like kind of different um, campsite ideas. Oh my goodness, the pear orchard. So pretty. You know, pears, I hated pears at first. I think they're underrated. I I really, really hated the pear fruit, like when the game first came out. But um, 
I got pears as my native fruit for my my island mochi and I'm actually in love with them. Like I can't wait to have pear trees everywhere. And I just love how they have like actual dropped pears in amongst all the um, items and like the pear juice and jams. So nice. Another little baby picnic spot. I feel like I'm in heaven with all these picnic spots. I love picnics and ducks. Picnics, decoy ducks, and like probably, I don't know, like mushroom circles or um, like this area up here. Yes, literally, I was going to say areas like this. My three favorite things I see on islands. I love seeing little fairy circle rock circle mush circle whatever just circles made out of things oh my gosh it's all here all on this island i have literally <laughs> you guys are probably sick of seeing me take photos but i'm literally obsessed i this is stunning so 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 good lauren this is amazing i feel so bad um lauren did post the dream as dream address for this like a month and a half ago and it's taken me this long to visit and now I thoroughly regret not visiting sooner. I wish I had visited this before I reset my farm island because it would have been such good inspiration. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. It's just all so stinking gorgeous. Oh my gosh, bagel sandwich. Every time I see a bagel sandwich in this game, I want to eat one. I want to make one. Is this Daisy's house? I want to check. Oh, it's Lolly's. I thought this looked like Daisy's house. I'm thinking of getting Daisy on my island. I'm thinking of sacrificing someone. Um, potentially Ione. Um, apologies, Ione. Um, I'm just bored of her. I don't know. She's cute, but she has no substance to her personality. And I know Daisy has the exact same personality as her, but you know what? Whatever. Just humor me. Um... This is so, oh no, I can see Ione in the background. <laughs> she definitely heard me talking shit. She heard me talking shit about her. Um, <laughs> anyways, let's focus on the build um, and not all of the villagers that I'm pissing off. This is so, I don't feel like I've ever seen anything like this. Like I've definitely seen like islands in the middle of lakes and I've seen like, like those little planks. When I first saw that, like the first glimpse of it, I thought it would be like a fishing dock. I've never seen anything quite like this where it's like, it's kind of, I mean, it's, there's not really fishing rods, but I don't know. It's giving me like fishing area and floating pond energy. I don't know. It's just really cool. I feel like normally like you'll see uh, little straight bits like this extended out or you'll have the floating islands you hop to. I've never seen both in one. I freaking love it. I love it. Okay, and let's see. Okay, yeah, you know what? This is definitely an autumn island because it has the gorgeous, gorgeous autumn weeds, which look perfect with the wheat fields. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm very excited now for fall on my own island um, to get those gorgeous superior weeds. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know if we went up here. You know what? No, I think that little spot... Is this where we were earlier with the land bridge? It is, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we just like flew through this island. I don't want it to be over. Oh my gosh, I love this little painting. Little painting spot. Um, I don't know how safe it is to be eating while you're painting. Like I feel like I would definitely um, accidentally slot paint <laughs> on my muffins but it happens the sacrifices we make for art <gasps> this little laundry area oh my gosh oh my gosh <gasps> and i love i love seeing gazebos on the peninsula love it love it i love just yeah all these little tiny areas oh and does this connect back this is that little uh, p uh, picnic area that we saw from Weber's yard. This little house is up there. Which, hello, what a view. What a view right here. Oh God, I'm gonna have the worst time trying to pick just one thumbnail. I'm gonna have like a massive photo dump probably on <laughs> Instagram because these are all so good. I'm like, everybody needs to see these photos. 
Okay, and then yeah, this is Lauren's house. She did say it's not decorated, so I will not go inside, but it's super cute on the outside. I love the mop. Like, I don't know, I never use the cleaning stuff, like the mops or the vacuums. I feel like, I don't know, I'm like, why would I want cleaning supplies on my island? But it looks so cute. <laughs> Ioni's giving me so much side eye. I'm sorry, okay? Pretend you didn't hear me talking crap about you earlier. <laughs> And she won't leave me alone. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is my my punishment. God, even the rocks in the back are decorated. Rocks that you literally probably, you can't even access that. Like there's no way to get, actually I literally have a ladder. So I, I guess I, I guess I could get down here, but um, <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, little flower. <laughs> um, but it's so nice. Like normally, uh, I feel like areas like this, you just pretend they don't exist. And I love that she actually decorated the rocks. That is so nice. Okay, this little chess area and like library, perfect for our boy Doby. I know this better. Yeah, this has to be Doby's house. Love to see it. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh, and we're right next to the pear orchard. I love how everything like, I love how everything just connects and flows together. Like this island feels massive, but then I'm like, oh, we're right next to this build or that build. Like it's all just so, it's just like, it flows so well. I don't know how to, I don't know how to put my thoughts into words right now. I am struggling, but it all just looks so good. All, everything is just so seamless and beautiful. It's honestly been really easy to navigate to. Truly a 10 out of 10 island so nice thank you all so much for hanging out with me today and watching this little tour i hope that you really enjoyed it and it gave you some inspiration i know it definitely inspired me a lot i am like ready to go work on my island um, after seeing this um if you enjoyed the video please be sure to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing um ione is definitely not going to like or subscribe she is very pissed at me right now and yeah as i said again please be sure to go give lauren some love in the comments and over on instagram um because this is a freaking gorgeous island i'm shook i love it so much and until the next time i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day stay peachy bye bye do i really not have my wave reaction here this is embarrassing okay bye bye guys i'm so silly i just finished filming we never saw lauren Hello, what's so sweet dreams? Oh my god, wait, look at us. Look at us, look at us, look at us. Wait, wait, no, 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 don't move, no. Wait, wait, take a photo with me. Ah! Okay, well, I guess that's all I'm getting. <laughs>